a lot of protection in front of me here. There's a steering wheel and um, dashboard. Now the difficult thing about this is I'm not supposed to touch the steering wheel. He said just put your hands near it, but that feels fantastically unnatural. Obviously they never teach you to do that when you're learning to drive. Okay, let's have ourselves an accident. Oh my lord. Whoa. Okay, it's steering for me. Whoa. Oh, I'm gonna have a crash, I'm gonna have a crash! Whoa. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? <laughs> I'm alive! Thanks to the inherent safety built into the British sports car. For all of us. They just can't be faulted, these cars. They cannot be faulted. Any damage? Not damaged at all. Nothing. Both cars completely free of damage. We've proved so far that British sports cars are safer than yeah. hot hatchbacks, yeah, yeah. that they are less likely to explode on a long journey, and yeah. that they are faster. Yep. And there's a very good reason why I was perfectly confident with that. Yeah, could you just explain yeah. why they didn't hit? The TVR has a built-in safety feature. When you press the throttle, there is a short delay, only about a second mm -hmm. before anything happens. It's so that it gives you time to think, make sure that's what you wanted to do. That means a TVR never arrives anywhere when it was supposed to. So you can never, ever have a crash with one. It's a never mathematical the certainty. Crash. Well, a mathematical certainty, you can't crash a TVR. There was no way physically could we actually crash because it'll never be there at the right time. I mean, what else? What else is there to prove, really? 